connection. We are an emerging giant in the college basketball world, and we're not going anywhere but forward. And today we say, burn the boats. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your KBK Sports Connection. Ryan King joined by Leah Doherty. We're just six days ago. Texas Tech fans were thrown for a loop when Texas Tech men's basketball coach Chris Beard, well, he became the head coach of the Texas Longhorns, but it came full circle today with the introduction of Mark Adams as the 18th head coach in program history. Yeah, Ryan, a lot can happen <laughs> in a week, and a coaching search that AD Kirby Hokut saying could take up to two weeks, taking only four days. Now, Hokut saying that they talked to about eight different candidates or the representatives for the job, but it's clear that Adams was the perfect fit, especially with all the public support from not only fans, but also a lot of former players. And everyone came out. You saw just about every Texas Tech head coach across the sports that you could, Mayor Dan Pope, and it was all for the man of the day, Coach Adams, and really the Texas Tech community. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. Coach Beard's move down to Austin cut deep in this fan base, and today it was a show of solidarity between fans, alumni, students, players, really everyone associated with Texas Tech. It felt like was out there at, at that today. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely, and after a week of uncertainty and anger, new head coach Mark Adams showed what Texas Tech really was all about. He's going to stand up for the Red Raider community, and the goals, I mean, simply put, they haven't changed. I'm a fighter, okay? I'm going to fight for this community. I'm going to fight for, for uh, Texas Tech. I'm going to fight for our fans. I'm going to fight for these students. I'm going to fight for these players. But let me tell you, we're going to fight every time we step on the floor. We're going to be in every fight. We're going to fight for every, every possession. Our goal here is to have the best basketball program in the country. Not just to play on Monday night, but to cut down the nets like the Baylor Bears did last night. We're just getting started. Guys, we're not, we're not gonna compromise, we're not settling. We're building, we're growing, we're moving forward. And it's gonna take all of us, but I want you to understand that I'm not here to compromise, I'm here to make a difference. And we're gonna do that with hard work. Everybody got that? We're gonna do it together. People do not like to come here and play against us. We got great players coming back. I don't know why anybody would ever wanna leave this program. Doesn't know why anyone would want to leave this program. Don't know what that could be in reference Lots to. Lots of uh, subtle comments I felt like were mentioned. Absolutely. Today. <laughs> if you were looking for them, they were there. But something I really want to ask Leah Doherty, of course, attended Texas Tech, been to all sorts of athletic events over the time. Where did this, where was this crowd among, at least per capita, kind of rank up there? It seemed like not a whole lot of people just because they don't want to have too many with COVID 19 and everything. Right. But it was very loud in there. I feel like the crowd was special today, not only because we had COVID, right? This is kind of the first event that we've got to go to in a while. Fans were allowed to go to. Like we talked about, there was a lot of anger with these fans. You know, we, yeah. things have cut deep for this past week. So I think they really channeled all of that into supporting Mark Adams. And it was so cool to see all the different members of the community, all the head coaches, Mayor Pope, everyone that you mentioned, really coming together, seeing the Red Raider family. I mean, it. It was, I was smiling behind my mask the whole time. I was just so excited, and, and Coach Adams was so genuinely excited for the role. It wasn't just that. You, you could see the emotion. It wasn't just the anger, the excitement. He got choked up a couple times. Yeah. You can see what this program really means to him, right? He's, he's a West Texas guy. You know, his dad was a farmer. He grew up on a farm, and he lost his brother recently this year. His dad had passed away, so his mom was in the crowd tonight. His kids were there as well, and I think just seeing them there right there in the front row. I mean, his kids, his family have known that this is something he's wanted for so long and so I think it was just so special for him and something that really is special about Mark Adams you know people talk when Chris Beard came back he was an assistant for 10 years right but this guy Mark Adams he grew up in Brownfield you know he's he's been at Texas Tech before right. he's been at Wayland Baptist he's been all around this area so you can really see what it means to a guy that root up grew up rooting yeah. for this team to now represent them and honestly you can see he, he did thank coach Beard yeah. He's, he's appreciative of the time, a class act all the way, but you know he has to be beyond excited to take over to this program. 
And honestly, what makes him probably more emotional than anything, it's got to be the just the outpouring of support you see from current former players, the whole Texas Tech community. Absolutely, I agree. And I think that's something, too, that, that Kirby and everybody kind of looks for in a candidate. Mm -hmm. They look for people that have Texas Tech ties, but also to see that someone has West Texas ties as well, I think really played a factor. Also, another factor was really getting the support from fans and players, and Adam's even mentioning that today, just how much it meant for him to see all of those guys just being so vocal about him being the next coach and really believing in him to keep the success of this program going. I mean, it's easy to be happy for somebody that's just a great person. And um, that's Adams. Like, he's the type of guy you just want to see succeed and get a shot because he's an unbelievable guy, you know, really genuine. And I was only at Texas Tech for a year, but he was a guy just going to his office, popping his office and talk to him. Uh, it just feels right. It just feels, you know, like the, the perfect guy is, you know, finally in, in that position, you know, a guy that wants to be here, you know, a guy that, you know, leads, you know, West Texas. And it was it was just, you know, remarkable, you know, great decision uh, by Kirby Hoka, you know, just to, to hire Coach Adams. Of course, more Twitter reactions today to Mark Adams being named head coach. Norrence Odiase clearly pumped, saying guns up. Brandon Francis representing Red Raider fans saying they're going to keep fighting and congrats to Coach Adams. Justin Gray saying the defense isn't headed to Austin <laughs> instead, staying right here in West Texas where it belongs. Guns up, horns down. Davide Moretti, uh, he's saying he feels better today after hearing the news. I'm sure a few Red Raider fans can feel that way. <laughs> Felt that sigh of relief. And of course, Ryan, these were just a few of those reactions. We had plenty more from former Red Raiders. And the biggest news, a couple Red Raiders announcing that they are staying right here in Lubbock. I know fans are excited about that. Kevin McCuller announcing that he's coming back next season, saying on Twitter, Texas Tech is in my blood. After speaking with Coach Adams and my family, it's in my best interest to stay at Texas Tech. We have unfinished business. I'm not going anywhere. It didn't just stop there, Leah. Kyler Edwards also announced he's ready to run it back. Clean up. RR4L. I'm not as young as Leah, but I'm going to <laughs> guess I'm that hit, stands you know. for Red Raider for life. Two huge wins already for the Texas Tech basketball program. Yeah, Ryan, and with how competitive we know the Big 12 is, Adams has no time to waste. Getting to work on his first day, adding a member to his coaching staff, picking up Portland State's men's basketball coach, Barrett Peary. Now, Peary was with the Vikings for the last four seasons with a 9-13 and record this past year, and he will serve as an assistant head coach under Mark Adams. Of course, in the coming days, there's plenty of spots still to go. One of those I know everyone's curious about, Sean Sutton is still on the website. No word on him just yet, but of course, they're gonna. He said he's gonna give it like Kirby did two weeks to fill up the set, but probably gonna be less than that. Well, of course, Lots we'll of have news you. To come. We're gonna bring you all those coaches as they happen. All right, thanks. We'll have more for you after this.